Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of Noodle Journey, where I'll be tasting one of the internet's most recommended instant noodle products, Samyang Baldak Carbonara Spicy Chicken Flavor. I'm very excited for this one for a number of reasons. To begin with, this will be my first experience with a Samyang noodle product, believe it or not. Samyang was, according to a quick Google search, the very first instant noodle company in South Korea, going all the way back to 1961 which means they have had a long time to perfect their products. Judging by the reactions to most of their flavors on the internet, they are well-loved in the instant noodle community. Uh, you may be familiar with them from the super spicy ramen challenges that are all over YouTube. I certainly have a lot of Samyang flavors to get through from my Coco Yam purchase, some of them being the aforementioned super spicy variety, but this one seems to be one of the most popular on literally every platform I use to research ramen. You ask someone on one of the many noodle-adjacent subreddits what to try, and this one inevitably comes up. Now, I honestly have no idea what to expect from this. If you're not familiar with the Italian food of the same name, carbonara is a pasta dish where the sauce is made from beaten eggs that are gently cooked from the heat of the pasta. It also has Italian cheese like parmigiano or romano, some bacon or pancetta, and black pepper. It comes out as a silky, creamy sauce without having any actual cream in it. I've made it a few times, and it's definitely one of my favorite Italian recipes. I've even tried some carbonara fusion recipes using stuff like miso paste, garlic, and sriracha, which have come out incredibly good, but would also probably make my cousins in Italy cry. So anyway, this is clearly a ramen that is inspired by the Italian dish, and the packaging would indicate that it is indeed... cheesy and spicy, and according to the ingredients contain some egg byproducts, but beyond that I honestly don't know what to expect from this, which is really exciting to me as a food lover. How much will it taste like a real carbonara? How spicy is it? I can't wait to find out. First let's check out the package contents. Oh, and before I open it, check it out. Only 1330 milligrams of sodium. Nice. So we've got a round noodle block, awesome, and two packets. The back of the package tells me the red one is a liquid sauce, clearly, and the pink and white one is a cheese powder. Let's get this cooking. Boil 600 milliliters of water and cook the noodles for five minutes. Then, drain the noodles, but reserve about 8 tablespoons of water, which is about half a cup. Stir in the reserved water, the sauce packet, and the powder packet. And serve. So right off the bat, this smells really good. Oh, and it's also worth mentioning that I see little bits of parsley in this, which is a nice homage to its Italian inspiration. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. The noodles have a nice springy texture. They're a little flat, almost reminiscent of a fettuccine or linguine. Really great texture. Almost as good as Momofuku noodles, which I think are probably my favorite texture at this point in this noodle journey. But these are definitely, definitely great noodles. 9 out of 10. Absolutely. As for the taste and presentation, you can see that the starchy water mixed in with the sauce packets has made for a very nice, thick, creamy sauce. The first thing I do taste is the spice. I can taste other things in here too. A little cream, cheese, garlic, soy, maybe a hint of curry? I'll have to check the ingredients. 
but it's got a nice sweetness, like there's a tiny little bit of curry powder in here. It's delicious. It's definitely a tribute to carbonara, but don't go into this expecting it to be anything like authentic carbonara, especially with that curry. So on the spiciness scale, the cheesiness and creaminess definitely tempers what I assume is the underlying spice. But this isn't anywhere near what I would consider mild for someone who's not used to spice. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 for spice. It's hot and it lingers. I also have to mention that this is a really nice portion. I usually gravitate more towards the soup noodle products because I find them more filling as a meal, but this is a good amount of food that doesn't really need a broth to stretch it. So how was my first taste of a Samyang Bulldog product? Amazing. This is an overall 9 out of 10 for me. This is a terrific product, and if you like all the flavors I described, this is certainly worth your money. It's creamy, it's pretty spicy, it's got a nice balance of flavor, sweetness, and more subtle notes. Would I buy this again? Absolutely. After this experience, I'm definitely looking forward to trying the rest of the Samyang product line. Have you tried this or any of the other spicy Bulldog ramen flavors? Which one should I go for next? Please comment and let me know. I'm going to wrap up filming now so I can devour this. These noodles will be living in my head rent-free for a while. As always, please like and subscribe if you would like to continue on this noodle journey with me.